now day 10 of our trip, trip of Malaysia, and um, we arrived at, where the hell are we? Oh, we arrived at Langkawai yesterday afternoon after a nine hour trip from Penang, which is a bit of a, a bit of a mistake. But anyway, we're here. And um, we checked into a hotel, which is the, called the Sanang, what's that place called? Sanang View Hotel. Pretty grubby, to be honest. Um, when I was trying to pre-book a hotel for this location, um, it was all booked out. So this was probably the one of the most reasonable and it seemed okay on the website. But um, it's, a it's a Chinese hotel, so it's got this really weird Chinese vibe about it. Uh, all poor quality fittings and just the standard and cleanliness is it's not the greatest. Um, we actually, <laughs> the sheets, the sheets were like stained. Like, um, they don't throw the sheets out, they keep the sheets and wash them and then they keep on reusing them. And like much better hotels would just throw them away and, they could, and um, the pillows were dirty. So we got the room cleaners to come back and um, change the sheets. And they actually went through about five sheets before we were happy with what, <laughs> what they gave us. Because the rest were just like, they should have been thrown away. But anyway, um, Buffering was filthy too. Got them to come back and reclean that because just, oh, just the standard here was not that great. But anyway, um, I shall have a walk through the hotel and I'll show you the, the common areas and that. Um, uh, it's pretty pretty yucky. This is on our bedroom door here. It's a sign in Chinese and how much they'll charge you for breaking something or taking their pillow. Sixty. Sixty dollars. Better than I'll take the fridge, that's 600. Okay, let's have a look outside. Oh. This is our hallway. And it's, it's kind of filthy because it's all tiled and it's like, when we arrived here yesterday, it was all wet as well. So this hotel was it's full of like families and children and there's a swimming pool on the roof somewhere. And they, they hop in the lift and you know, come running down the hallways at night and then the hallways are just permanently dirty. <laughs> and the, the room number thing broke. They just stuck a piece of plastic cardboard there. That's what it's supposed to look like. They give you a drink cooler here, which is quite good. The wet towel there. Hasn't been cleaned for a while. There must have been a leak in here because they ripping the ceiling apart. There are all these holes in the ceiling here, they're trying to find the leak. But um, yeah, it's really good of them to sleep at, just sitting there. I forgot to show you this disgusting dining board here too. It's like, I think you must have one on every floor that you share. Oh. And this is the, the view from, so I'm just going to share the balcony here. Anyway, it's that view. I guess the good thing about this hotel is its location, because it's right in the middle of Sanang, which is next to the beach, so, you know, it's uh, right right in the middle of it. It's quite nice to have little food vendors here, you can get your breakfast, and it's quite reasonably uh, priced. This is the view of our hotel from here. It's a Nang view, disgusting. Okay, 9.30 in the morning. Just gonna go out for a morning walk and see if we can find a find a coffee. That was lovely, coffee too. Italian restaurant. Yeah. Well that doesn't take very long. There's a cafe right next door to it. Let's go. Cappuccino for me. Long Not black. Long black for her. a good little spot for breakfast and coffee, red tomato. It's quite nice. Actually there's a McDonald's over the road. I missed that. Damn it. A little bit early. I think everything opens around about 10 o'clock here. So I'm on a mission to find a hat. I had a hat but I'm in the jungles of 
camera in Highlands it got so soaked and sweat and mud that I had to throw it away. So hopefully we'll find a hat. She's a giant shopping center over there. I should go check. I'm gonna come back later. Mm. It's a huge duty free store. Oh, that's very light. The one you had yesterday was heavy. Giant pack of chocolate. Wow, well, set of four, 13. Chocolate's really cheap here. <laughs> These are cigarettes are really cheap here. I don't smoke, and all these pictures of cancer on them 95 for a carton. Alcohol is really cheap here. Some Scotch whiskey, 34, that's Malaysian money, 34 ringgit. So Aussie is about 3 to 1. Mission accomplished, found myself a new hat before I get turned into a slice of toast because it gets pretty hot here during the day. It's not a bad shop. It's called Coco, Coco Valley. Quite a big duty free shop. I don't know if they would use the word here duty free, but um, I think it's just a cheap shop. It is nice, very peaceful. boat with a little battery propeller thing on the back. We must be doing a, a massive one knot at the moment. And Captain Jinko is in charge. <laughs> and this is Freshwater Lake. See, so look in the front. Quite a nice view. It's our view in the front. Ah. Nice. We're going over to the wharf, please, Jetty.
There it is, the giant eagle.